الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. I'm very happy to be here tonight because I can see some part of my journey is ending and starting today. 38 years ago, when I took Egypt Air flight to come here, I had three journeys. First journey of the mind, the soul, and the heart. It took me to come to UK to become a medical doctor. This was my dream. But they ended of doing something else, apart from being medical doctor. So the medical doctorate became like a token of appreciation from Allah to the work that we are doing together. I think the second part of my journey is tonight, when I see each and every one of you here after this first leg of my journey of the first 38 years in UK. So you represent the future, you represent the leadership, you represent the dream, you represent the hope, and you represent the reality that none of you is extremist, radical, or terrorist. You are leader at your own right to save humanity from the British Isles. And I trust each and every one of you. Because Britain needs us. Britain needs all of us. And Britain needs you. Not only Britain that needs you, but humanity, the globe, is in dire need of your service. Soul, heart, and mind, when they meet together in a remote place to serve people that we do not know, this is humanitarian of individual, humanitarian work of people like yourself to create humanity. When I look at the word volunteering, nowadays volunteering is not a voluntary activity. It's a compelling duty. We must change it is philosophy of thinking in the dictionary. It's not anymore volunteering. It's a compelling duty when you see tens of millions of people are displaced became refugees and suffering, when you see the climate change, when you see violence against children and women in the DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo, which has the highest rate, the highest rate of rape on earth and none of us doing anything for it. I was hoping to see it on the program of any Muslim charities, Democratic Republic of Congo. This is humanity, when it lets the heart, the mind, and the soul meet in DRC. When we look at the first 32 years of our work as charitable activity in UK, and we reflect back when you used to stand in the middle of the road with a cardboard box to collect a penny and a pound and half a penny, and nickel, and everything, before you were born. Now you are the second generation, or the third generation, or the fourth generation, or the digital generation, meeting the analog ones like myself. I am an analog who believes in the digital world, and who believes that we can change the digital world to make a new world by you. You have to believe in yourself that you are a change maker. Do you believe in that? 
I can't hear what you said. I can't hear what you said. Yes. Do you believe in that? Yes. If you believe that you are a change maker, you become a change maker. If you believe that you are a leader, you become a leader. If you believe that you can make things that miracles like, you can make it. Because this earth has been created and all the planets have been created to serve you, to support you, and make your life easy. It's not made that you worship it. Don't worship life. Worship the creator of life. Because he is the one who is giving us our life and make it easy for all of us. So to conclude is you are the future. We are the past. And we will meet today on one platform when we we'll give you the leadership so you can take it to build our country. And my last reminder to myself don't be taken by any Islamophobic statement. It is going to be gone with the wind, like the movie in the 50s. You remember Club Gabriel? Have you, have you seen the movie? Uh, and the beautiful girls and the, the, and the handsome men? Gone with the wind. All these ends does not have anything to do with you. It have a lot of things to do with the sick people who are trying to make you what you are not. Islamophobic attack is not on our agenda. We meet this kind of Islamophobic things with care, compassion, consideration, accommodation, build bridging, and show the best of manner of the individual to his neighbor and to her neighbor. And this is the teaching of the Prophet ﷺ. And this is the teaching of Jesus, peace be upon him. And this is the teaching of Moses. Our prophets taught us to tolerate, to be patient, and to lead with wisdom and with good advice. Not to become hot-headed, not to become narrow-minded, not to have a tunnel vision, this is not on our table, and this is not on our agenda. Are you the leaders or not? Yes. So be it, and believe in it, and you do it to save humanity. Jazakumullah khair, wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Stay with us, inshallah, we'll arrest you. Um, as you can see, mashallah, um, we've obviously you could sit to Dr. Hani for many, many hours, but we just want to say thank you. Thank you to, for setting the platform for Muslim charities, for enabling us to have a job, not only to have a job, but like he said, to actually be grateful that we're able to be lucky to try and serve the people who are in need. So we are actually very fortunate. That's one thing that I've always learned from him. You know, if there's ever a time where I think to myself, or any, even an ounce of pride, in the work that I do, I always think about what he said to me and, he said, and always says to us is that we are lucky and like myself, all the volunteers, we are very fortunate like the company <coughs> always tells us to be and to volunteer and to work in this industry because the people need us and this is our goal and this is our aim. So I just want to thank him and on behalf of Human Appeal and give him, a, give him an award for a lifetime of serving humanity, Dr. Hani Ben. say just 30 seconds 1984 1980 there was no Muslim charities now there are hundreds in 2050 
we make it thousands and more to serve our country, serve our people, serve humanity. The journey started with one footstep, but you can cover the 28,000 miles or the million mile journey, which it will be completed by each and every one of you, and you will end it. You will meet the challenges, and when I heard Anas, Anas is a challenger, and is very strong-hearted, very strong believer, and he met the challenge, and now he is a good icon for us to follow his footsteps. When we celebrate tonight, we celebrate Anas, not to celebrate Hani. ولا بشير ولا عثمان جزاكم الله خير again السلام عليكم sorry can I just invite all the volunteers and everyone to share this moment of having a picture with him with this award so all those who won the award sorry all those who won the award at the same time so all the award winners all ten volunteers who won the award with your award and the inshallah will have a group picture at the end before he leaves all together but for those who won the award please Huh?